Thanks for staying with us. So, Ministry of Culture and Tourism, in uh, conjunction with Ebony Life Please, organized EcoStar Film and TV Awards honoring talented female pioneers who called the shots in the growing Nigerian film industry. However, Ruth Kadri did not receive any award, and she took to Instagram to say her piece while tagging the organizers of the award event. <clears throat> According to her, she wasn't given any award, despite her efforts, because she doesn't belong to the clique. Now, our conversation is not so much about that. Mm. It's more about cliques. Generally, you know, when, when, <clears throat> when awards happen and events happen, people say, oh, how come I do? How come you, how come XYZ was not honored because, oh, she's not part of this clique? And, and people's response to in this kind of situation, what, do you, what, what were your thoughts when you read her message? And especially because I know everyone has actually since responded. Yeah. And said, yeah. listen, we will, it's impossible to honor everybody, everybody. at mm -hmm. the same time. Mm -hmm. yeah. Definitely, this is the very first, mm -hmm. and there will be more going forward. But what do you make of the response um, and when you read this tweet? Mariam, want to start? Okay, yeah. So when I first read it, uh, two things. First of all is that uh, why don't you just give enough time for those who have been recognized to enjoy it and celebrate with them before you talk about what could have been mm. when it comes to you? I'm just that sort of person. I mean, give people their time, mm. let them enjoy it, mm. be there. I also understand her pain. Mm. I really don't know her very much, but from what I've seen and read, she, they say she's very hardworking and she's made a huge mm. impact. And the good thing about what she did is that she called out the person who she felt, you know, she, she tagged the person. You know, normally people would give you this kind of backhanded, back mm. um, you know, back talk, like there are some people, they know themselves, mm -hmm. you know. <laughs> you know, you know who, who is this about? But I like that. I always appreciate honest conversations when you can come and meet someone and say, this is what you did to me and I'm unhappy about it. Mm -hmm. Then you give the other person an opportunity to, to tell you what may have happened. Mm -hmm. And if the person is wrong, the person will happen, uh, apologize. And if there's something that the person needs to do better for you, to understand you understand that but i also think that we have to also understand that it's important to celebrate each other sometimes mm. it's not your turn it does not mean mm. that you take away the shine mm. from that i mm. felt like it was taking a shine from mm. a uh, uh an, an a successful event mm. uh, an event that honored your colleagues mm. and honored your mm. co you know workers mm. you should have just used that time to talk um, to praise them although she she did as well but that mm. wasn't the time for me, in my opinion, wasn't right. the time for that. Yeah, oh, I, I think um, when it comes to working and expecting awards, I think we should try as much as possible to limit our expectations so that mm. we don't hurt ourselves. Mm. Um, I, I remember being a gospel artist at some point, and I would go for awards, and I, I watch people get awards, and like, I'll ask myself, ha, ah, when, when will he ever get to my turn? Mm. When will he mm. come to me? Mm. You know? But there was something I learned early because of the sort of experience. I started entertainment really early. young, and I had I'd been to competitions, I'd been to performances, and all of that. But I, I started building in myself that ability to work without hoping or waiting on for any recognition whatsoever. So mm. if it comes, it comes as a surprise. And I also worked with the intention that th there's an adage in my place that says, meaning that the water you are meant to drink, nobody can take it from you. Mm. So when it's time for you, even mm. if they miss your name, somebody will mistakenly put the name, not mm. realizing mm. they had put your name. Mm. So um, when, I, when I saw mm. the uh, tweet and I read the you know, conversation, I was like, I think we need to start building in ourselves mm. the ability to focus on our work, irrespective of any recognition, whether it comes or not. It doesn't mm. stop you from working hard. It doesn't stop you from being excellent. It doesn't stop you from mm. you know, putting in your best. Mm. When your time comes, you will be recognized. Absolutely. And once we have that, we, it's easier for us to celebrate other people, mm. having it at the back of their minds that it's their turn mm. and they should be celebrated. That's okay, so I for me, I, I agree with your last statement, and I don't think that her complaints devolves the fact that she's confident enough in herself and her work. And I think she, it is the level of confidence she has in her work that will make her question, Ask her question. That, that statement. I have seen her work. I'm not, I'm, I won't call myself, oh, I'm a fan, but I've seen her work. I've seen her shoot while pregnant. I've seen her put 
um, consistent work out there. And I believe that there is a level of confidence that will make you feel, I see the ACP people you have awarded. I know some of them genuinely deserve it. But I know that some other people that got it I haven't done half of a quart, a pinch of what I've done in this in industry. And the only reason they're there is because of the relationship and the clique they are in. And I think that we need to come to the point where we can call out these things when we see them without being the fear of being judged. Mm -hmm. You can call out an award. People, a lot of black people started getting Oscars because they called out the Oscars. They called out the Grammys that I have done more work than these people. Why are they getting the Oscars and getting the Grammys? We need to fight for ourselves when we feel like we are not being recognized for the effort we have done, especially when you've done the effort. So the commission is not about her effort. She's done her work. Yeah. So she's saying that if you are celebrating people in this industry and you if, if you left it among a certain class, yeah. I would not, she probably wouldn't complain. Yeah. But even I saw some names and I was like, okay... You know, so there are, there are people that you would, there's no, there's no controversy. These are the dons. They are the mamas and babas of these are entertainment industries. Mm. But they also added a few um, young bloods. Mm. So she had a right to, I feel she has a right to ask. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm happy that Ebony Life um, responded. No, responded. responded mm. so, well. so I, I don't think she should be bashed for or mm. be seen as she, she's lobbying or no, no, so I think she, we should that, have that, that's had, what Mariam had said earlier. Honest conversations mm. are important yes. and are healthy in any, in any way. Mm -hmm. uh, I know when, when, when we started this show, there were, we, did, we were doing a lot of groundwork. But nobody knew us. Nobody even mm. saw. We are winking in the dark for many years. Mm. And people will be coming to me saying, Morale, apply for this now. Let people know. To go out, do, do uh, photo shoots. Let them put, you, let's put your view out there. And I said, no. Mm. We will wait. We will continue to do the work, ground up. And gradually, when that time comes, well, people will see it. Mm. I don't need to push out that say, I am here. Because there, there have been awards in the past where they will mention TV shows. Nobody even mentions your view in any shape or fashion. Mm. And you're thinking, and, and, and the rating shows. And, and the rating shows that we are the ones that everybody's watching. Mm. But we don't go out and we, uh, we don't call, out, call them out. Because, mm. Not because we don't have to or we don't mm. have the right to. Mm. But we re will choose. When you, when you well, just like you said, when your time comes, mm. no nothing can stop, stop you. you. It will yeah. come. So there's always that two side of demand it or mm. wait. And I was, I was watching The Crown. That's my new, that's my new <laughs> look now. Where I think it was the, the king before he died. When somebody wanted to become uh, prime minister, the one that was there before, uh, the one that was, when Winston Churchill was the prime minister, he went to the king and said, please put a word in for me. He said, uncle, take your time. When is your turn? Mm. Don't, don't lobby for it. Mm. it when your come. time comes, mm. it will look for you. you, look for you. Yeah. So as much as I agree with you, mm. there are some times where you need to demand things, but sometimes <coughs> stay gracefully where you are. Mm. When that time comes, you're yeah, really you know, going to have to no, 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 Let me just quickly say something. Okay. Um, sometimes when we protest, mm. it's not really for ourselves. It's you see, other people. yes, most of those that protest are not the ones that enjoy the benefit. They get bashed. Mm. Standard. Every, if you look at those that are um, 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 what do you call them? Um, advocates and mm. protest people that, that are pushing against mm. the norm. They tend to get bashed. They don't really get the praise. Mm. But what they do is to prick those... the, provoke the institution mm. to pay attention to those they will not face. Mm. So on a normal day, these awards will probably continue to go to because we know the industry has cliques everywhere. Mm. Yeah. And there are people that, don't, that are not cliquish. Yeah. They would never be pleased. Some, sometimes, what the BC has said, no, 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 no. And what BC has said is mm. that regardless of the clique, yes, it will come to you. Even if it doesn't come to you, you've grown yourself. I mean, just imagine there's not a word. Mm. Yes. What, you're not doing it for your commission. Would you not do the work? Yeah. Yeah. work. So yeah. I, I wanted to respond to Top to say that, you know, sometimes um, we, we see ourselves and we judge ourselves based on our standards. Mm. And other people see us and they have their standards. Mm. Now, if an organization decides to put up an award, they, I want to believe that they are sincere in the standards that they have set. They could have looked at those standards to say, ah, okay, uh, we're, not go we're going to be doing this every year. So these are the people we're taking for this year. For next year, this is the next list. For next year, you know? And you challenging because you feel you have put in the work. What if some people on that panelist just feel, okay, well, I don't see the work that she's putting in. So it's their award, first of all. Mm. It's their criteria, first of all. It's their standard. No matter how you feel about it, you're not the one in position to judge yourself. So that's why I say, when it comes to working, and you people always on this table, I think I'm the only one that's even different. You people always say, do not blow your trumpet. Mm. So you requesting for it is blowing your trumpet, mm. putting yourself in a position that I know mm. how hard I work. Yeah, she does. <laughs> <laughs> I work hard, and so they, I should, I yeah. must be recognized. I should, that's that's, not, that's you blowing your trumpet, and you people back, are usually against it here. When we come back, we will continue this conversation. Stay with us, we'll be right back. Mm -hmm.
Stay tuned. Your view will be right back. Thanks for staying with us. So we're still talking about um, issues of clicks, awards, events, and waiting your turn. I mean, I, I remember there was an event by the same organizers that I was nominated <laughs> for some years ago. Hmm. And it was, it, was a, it was a category that I was so sure that belonged to your view because of the work we've done. I remember that day very clearly. And I was, there, were, there were three of us in that category. And it was very clear that uh, this guy, don't, I, nobody even knew these people. You know, and I went there that day and I sat down in the hall at a hotel and I sat down and of course I was on call, you know, for your view. And I wasn't, it didn't, it didn't affect me. I just knew it wasn't time. Mm, mm. And, and I left. Mm. I, did, I wasn't emotional. I didn't weep over it. I just said, it's not your time. Mm. Because when that time comes, mm. nothing no can stop you. Can stop it. So, mm. They are there, so there's that, there's an argument for that. Yeah. And there's that sort of other argument that not because of you, but because of people coming behind you. Mm. Yeah. Make sure those who are giving recognitions are fair. Being, they're yeah. being fair. Mm. Let, let them know fair. that, let them know that yes. You. So, so in, in, in my opinion, it's not, and I'm, I'm not someone that believes that, oh, you should be canvassing, but mm. I believe you should ask. I believe in life you never know. You, you make assumptions. Many times we are assuming negatively, like if I, ah, they'll see, they see me one kind, they'll see me that way, they see me. People project their insecure projection, their insecurities. And I feel like, just ask. Mm. Whatever you want, demand the universe, you know. So we should be thanking Ruth for raising this issue. Yes. Well, so because now, you think? now, the organizers know that people are that watching. People are not just watching the categories, they are monitoring who gets what, and they would ask questions, or even if they don't ask it. You know, because if, if we leave anything unchecked, people can abuse power. Power must be checked. Mm. So if you are an organization, a neutral body organizing and re um, recognizing an industry, and we just leave you to decide for a long time, and I'll go back to the because we tend to refer to them, Hollywood, you know, that um, it's important that we see what they did mm. <laughs> and. Copyrights, yeah. you know, and right. let the equity in what we're doing. Are you done? Yeah. Are you yeah. done now? <laughs> no, let me let this uh, marry up. So, one thing I would like for this for the conversation <clears throat> to, that we should have really is also commend um, Mo Abudu and the organizers of this event, the Maiden Edition. Yeah. Remember, this is the first time many mm. people sat down and decided we need to do this. You know, some of the people that were recognized, I was proud to see mm. that they're recognized in their lifetime. Mm. Because Nigeria, we have that thing where we recognize people only when they have left. Mm -hmm. So I really would prefer the conversations to be quite positive towards the people who have organized this. Yeah. Now, secondly, why I agree that um, conversations like the one Ruth Kadri brought is important to have, even though I'm not a fan of the time that she brought it up, mm. is that um, in everything that you do, there must be a balance. It is important to know that not everyone can be recognized on one At particular, same, yeah. one particular event, show or 100%. one year. You know, every time there's someone new, there's something new, there's always your turn, it will show. But let us not pay too much attention on the negatives. Mm. Do you understand what I mean? Because mm. we sometimes in our conversations, in our trying to understand things better, negative we concentrate so much trends. on the negative, mm. we cloud the positives that come out of this. So oh, okay. um, there's, this, um, there's this particular veteran that I saw, she danced, and I was really, truly happy, happy for her. you know, that she was there and she was being celebrated so openly. So, Jay Lassette? Yes, yeah. Lassette. Let me I tell you what really happened. That. That. I mean, I'm happy that even, uh, one, of our, <laughs> one of the other recipients of the awards is in the building with us. So she was giving her speech. And you know when she's, she's very graceful. Ah. Yeah. So she's speaking, and there were lots of talks in the, in the, in the, in the, in the room. And she said, please keep quiet. I'm trying to get my words across. And she kept speaking, and there were still talks. After she said, shouted, keep quiet! <laughs> <laughs> Everybody just froze. Yeah, okay. Yeah. But mommy is talking. Yeah. <laughs> they kept quiet though. Yeah. Till she finished. And that speech was long. Yeah. But we said, okay, so mommy, let us just let it let her finish. And she took her time. Yeah. Okay, let me take Solomon. The Lord is holding. Are you there, Solomon? Yes, Your life. Go ahead, please. Go ahead. Yes. I can't hear. I can't hear. It's muffled. I sincerely apologize, Solomon. It's, it's muffled. Let's talk about the click. Yeah. Because they don't have much time. People say that. Um, <laughs> 
let God fight for you. That's our culture here. Mm -hmm. You know, we tend to, we, we defer to God. But God mm -hmm. will not do what he has given you the power to do for yourself. There are mm -hmm. some things that you can, God has given you capacity to speak up for yourself. Mm -hmm. Do what you can do and let God do the rest. So for some people, by nature, doing what they can do is continue to excellently deliver as in like amazing work up until the recognition. For some, it would be, I want to shout and protest and raise placard and do whatever it is. The point is, God, we have the capacity. Do the one that suits your personality. And don't let anybody talk you into saying, oh, this person, you should have fought. You should don't, you should don't fight for yourself. Let God fight for you. Mm -hmm. And it wasn't like speaking out to say, don't speak up. Let's, you know, let everybody be, be able to it's fully... Good, yeah express who they are wired to be. Okay. Yeah, we're pointing. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. I wanted to say for the cliques, we <laughs> can't do without having cliques. Exactly. In That's every what... organization, there are either people you are more comfortable working with. Mm. If you set up your own stuff now, there are people you know that you've worked with before, they did not give you a lot of stress. You will have, even if you say I'm not a clique person, you have people that you can easily call for jobs to be done. And mm. then it, it, it comes across as they know their people. But what I... I want to advise because I see a lot of their movies in the cinema and I see them, you know, using the same, same faces, the same uh, people over and over in their movies. I would like them to give other people yeah. a chance. So yeah. even if you have, you know, your people that you can call, sometimes you keep them and grow new faces. Yeah. We're yeah. all trying to grow this industry. Don't just make it about I must have this person, mm -hmm. the so-so-and-so mm -hmm. so people point. in this particular project and every project you have those, Absolutely. revolve those people around. Share it, you know, yeah. just make okay. it you go know, sometimes around I always somehow. Have a, I always have a problem with that where we tell people how to build their brand or what they should add or what should not add, who should be asked to join their table. I always feel that, you know, there comes a time where it should not be about being getting a seat at their table is about making your own table. Do you uh, understand? No, that so one is by, if their by brand the and their type is that there's a particular type that we want and they do it over and over and over again, good on them. You create your table and you have your viewers and your followers for you know the sort of thing that you do mm. because everybody has their style. Hollywood mm. has a style, Nollywood has a that's style. Some directors and in then Hollywood they're making the thing we're talking about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. so what I'm no okay. Is That's not the clique. Yeah. Yeah. I was yeah. just saying it's different it's, it's, types. But also, talking about clique, I wanted to mention that um, this lady mentioned clique. She was sure that it was about clique. Mm. She may have been wrong. Mm. She Possible. judged them and she said some. For me, you're not sure. People came and they put down names and they made a decision based mm. on you know many mm. factors. Yeah. To just assume that it was based on clique. And I think All right, let me take this call from fair. Justice. Our final call on this. Justice, are you there from Turkey? From Kebi, Kebi, Kebi. No, from Kebi. Good yeah, morning. Kebi, Good morning. Why are you? You're live. Go ahead, please. Yeah, I want to take time. We talk back to some great statistics. Uh, if you look at what uh, Ruth Kadiri is saying, actually, she's not fighting for herself, so to speak. Mm -hmm. She's making room for upcoming people, upcoming uh, colleagues <laughs> in the industry. There are a whole lot of people that are good, so good that they are not being celebrated. Mm. Now, if you look at the past that were celebrated, if it is among the old, older people, fine and good. What about celebrating people that just came into the industry? How do you think people that have contributed more will feel about it? So let us not just bash that, but let us think and see reasons we that, so that this bias next, if there's any at all, We'll put, we'll put the stop to it. Thank you very much, Justice. So I think we've all said very yeah. important things here. Yes, sometimes you have to wait. Others, speak up if you have to, but don't let us not judge those who are speaking up on our behalf because, mm. as you said, it's not mm. about them. Mm. It's also about those who, to ensure it's that there's coming. equity in selection. And, um, but those who have been selected, we celebrate them. And those who are still waiting to be, to be recognized, the time, will come. the time will come. And I think that's the message for this conversation. Let's go on a break. Our celebrity guests in the building, stay with us. We'll be right back. <laughs> 